Hey everybody, Jamie here, and I don't know if you knew this about me, but I'm not a big fan of change. Wait, let me rephrase that. I totally love change, which is why I dyed my hair red, but what I'm saying is I don't love change. You know, needing a hundred of these just to get one of these. So while I gather 87 more of these in order to finally buy that candy bar I've been craving, I'll need some place to put them, and I might as well make that place ridiculously cute. Get ready as I show you how to make your own upcycled bottle bank. Let's do it, girl. Okay, so in order to make your own bank, you're going to need a plastic bottle any size, scissors, a ruler and writing utensil, a cutting tool, adhesive from double-sided tape to craft glue, and art supplies. I'm using cardstock, pipe cleaners, paint, and pom-poms, but you could grab anything from markers to fabric to duct tape to jewels to, to just about anything, really. Now, creating steps for this bank was a little bit difficult for me because it all depends on what type of a bank you want to make. I'm specifically going to be making an animal bank, so I catered my steps to follow along by making a face and feet and a body, etc. You could make a pig in order to have a piggy bank, or you could make a tree in order to have a money tree, or you could transform your bottle into a bottle rocket ship. The options are endless here. All right, let's take it to the bank. Step one. The first step is to create the body of your bank. I measured out the indented portion of my bottle and then cut out a decorative piece of cardstock to size. I then used double-sided tape and wrapped the cardstock around the bottle center. Since I'm making an animal bank, I cut out my best drawing of a tail before for attaching it to the back of the bottle. Another way to decorate your bottle instead of cardstock is to use any type of paint. I used acrylic paint with the help of painter's tape in order to cover my entire bottle in orange stripes. Once the paint dried, I nabbed pipe cleaner and attached it to the back of my bottle with craft glue to form the tail. And that's it, your animal body is complete. Step two, the next step is to add ears to your bank. Now, I'm going to follow the same process that I used for my Cat Flats DIY because the quick and easy process has a great finished look. Simply cut out two ears from your cardstock in order to form the outside of the ear, leaving some extra material at the bottom as a sort of tab that you can attach to your bottle. Then create two smaller triangles, adhering them to the original cardstock in order to form the inner ear. Once your ears are complete, bend your ear base back at the tabs before attaching it to your bottle. Step three, now's the time to create the bank's eyes. I followed the same technique for making my ears by cutting out cardstock into large and small eyeball shapes and adhering them together. I then attached them to my bottle. In case you were curious, here's what the eyes would look like if I used puppy paint, and now with sequins, and now with big googly eyes. Totally different looks, right? I mean, that's the whole point of this project. As opposed to going out and buying a bank at the store, not only are you recycling, but you're also creating something that's one of a kind. Step four, now's the time to make your bank animal's nose and mouth. Now, since I've used cardstock in order to also make the body, tail, eyes, and ears, I continued the trend by wrapping cardstock around my bottle cap before attaching a cutout nose to the bottle bottle lid center. I then cut my cardstock into thin strips and attached them behind the nose with double-sided tape in order to form whiskers. Finally, I cut out a mouth and attached it underneath the bottle lid nose. And just to show you another option besides paper, I applied puffy paint on the bottle cap to form the nose and then used it again in order to form the mouth. I then cut down pipe cleaner and glued it in place in order to create whiskers. And there you go, your animal face is complete. Step five, once you're happy with the overall look of your bank, you want to make sure that your bank's water bottle body isn't rolling all over the place. You can prop it up on a shelf between two books or some other trinkets that you might own, but I recommend attaching some makeshift feet. You could use anything from empty thread spools to makeup sponges to whatever else you find lying around the house. I created my feet by gluing on some matching colorful pom-poms to one bank and pipe cleaner to the other. Step six. The final step is to add in your bank slot. Now you're going to need a box cutter or a utility knife for this, so I'm going to offer you the same advice that I did when I showed you how to cut a shampoo bottle into a phone charger. Work slowly, work carefully, and definitely ask an adult or someone for help if you're having trouble and you're nervous that you're gonna cut your finger. After creating the initial opening cut, I was able to use scissors to finish cutting the plastic. Make sure the slot opening is at least big enough to fit a quarter since that's the largest coin. Unless you had something like a dollar coin. You lucky dog you, because then you could be buying that candy bar right now. <gasps> chocolate. Whenever your bank gets full of change, simply unscrew your bottle's lid in order to empty your coins. If your lid opening isn't wide enough, then you may need to make a much larger bank slot on top of your bank so that way you can flip your bank over and have the coins fall out that way. All in all, this easy and adorable craft only took me a half an hour to make. If you really wanted to get a fun and professional look, you could always follow my paper mache tutorial in order to create as many colors and shapes on your bank as you like. 
Plus, you don't even have to just use a water bottle in order to create your bank. I mean, you could use a plastic gallon jug or a laundry detergent bottle or even a paper milk carton if you had it. You could bank on any of them. <laughs> All right, I'll bottle it up now. Hey, what can I say? Some things change and some things don't. How did you make your bottle bank? Tweet me at Jamie Petito, Instagram me at Hey Jamie, or just tell me all about it in the comments below. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie, and you're on girl.com. For more craft ideas just like this one, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So you can put it up on a bank. Put it up on a bank. What? Where'd my brain go right there? <laughs> make sure the opening is at least big enough to fit a corner. A corner? What is wrong with me?